Hello beautiful Pisces and welcome back to Intuitive Energies. My name is Jane and we're starting off a brand new week. So, also the 1st of May. May is going to be work Pisces, but every month usually is regardless of what the cards say. So let's just take it one step at a time, one day at a time, and work through everything we need to this month and come out the other side fabulously beautiful and successful. Okay? There we go. So I have the card of passion and inspiration. Pretty good way to start a week. And I wrote in my little book when I was intuitively writing down, writing down, <laughs> I suddenly had a hard time getting that out, um, to get out of the depths of restriction and passionately pursue what you want. So, absolutely. Um, <clears throat> this had the freedom. This passion card right here, um, I pulled an extra card for it and the devil in reverse came out and that's what I feel like. I feel like you've gotten out of the depths of, of this fire and you're actually using it to dance and flow and, and you've become very, very powerful. And that's a wonderful thing to be. Inspiration, it's, um, well, it comes with passion, right? The wands are the suits of inspiration, so it only makes sense that you're going to feel very inspired to be who you need to be. The moon had the king, the moon reading had the king of wands and the queen of wands, both very inspiring and passionate, vibrant energies. So we're going to take a look at this and we're going to do two fabulous readings for you today. We're going to look at the energies, we're going to pull some tarot in Oracle. So for these, I decide to take the Wisdom of the Oracle, one of my favorites, and also a newer deck, the Pulp Tarot. Okay, so we're going to do these right now. So let's pull an Oracle card for this Pisces. for a nap. I love the fact that that came out right after that you're on fire. So, <clears throat> very interesting. Let's see here. Pisces, let's look at these um, seemingly very different energies. They look like the two sides of a coin, don't they? One is like fiery and the other one is like nap time. So, okay, so this one says it's Time to cast aside all fears that have darkened your outlook and invite some warmth into your inner world. Your sparkle has dimmed and your motivation has waned. Everyday life has distracted you and you've forgotten what it is that truly makes your soul sing. An intense yearning is yet to be satisfied, although you're unsure of what it's, it is what it is you actually crave. Desire, attraction, and enthusiasm accompany you as you remember and reignite that which fuels your passion. So spice up your life as you walk. In your true light will full might, vitality, and vigor to reclaim your zest for life. Oh no. So it even this, it even says that you are calling out to the spirit of fire. So... <clears throat> This may be that you are just looking for stuff, right? You're looking to reignite. Let's see. 24. Time for a nap. Rest, rejuvenation, renewal. Allowing dreams to arise. Ah. So this may be in a state where you're... Oh, look, and allow yourself to be free of shackles of your goals, your list, and your desires. Yeah, your the list is what I'm hearing here, right? So, your overly busy mind can block you from inner wisdom. And if you don't step back and take a rest, you'll miss what you're looking for. Be willing to let dreams surface and ideas flow through you. Uh, yeah. 
So I this is what I'm getting from this. It, it's time for nap and it's not really time for rest. It's maybe just time a pause to let the fire take hold or reignite or I have no idea. I'm, I'm guessing that whatever that means to you, that is what you need to do, right? I don't know right now what you're working on or what's maybe you're just too hard on it, too trying too hard to push that cart and you're not seeing that there's horses available to, to pull that cart for you or trying to push when you should be pulling. This is what I'm feeling, okay? So like I said, I don't know what that means to you, but it's definitely I'm getting a because of the two separate cards, right? It's like go, no. I feel like it's saying like don't try to push, don't don't try to push when you should be pulling. It will all go in the same direction. Your passions and your focus will arise. You will get reignited, but don't push the situation. Okay? So alright, so let's pull some tarot and see what else they have to say about this. How interesting. Of course, it's already starting out an interesting week, Pisces. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's what the inspiration card's about. Maybe it's time for you to get inspired. Not to go, you know, not to try to push the agenda, but to sit back and be inspired, right? Daydreaming, imagination, taking time to be in a good feeling moment. Maybe. We'll see. Okay, so you have the world. But it's in reverse, so we'll just put it like that. So that means that you're working on completion. You still have the world card, even though it's reverse. It just means that it's not quite there, right? But it's okay. We know that. The Six of Cups, to me, that is always that childlike, that inner childlike joy, okay? When you're nostalgic, you think of when you were young. Just like when I was biking, I was telling you last week, I felt 14 again, right? It's, it's, it's bringing me back to that day. I remember feeling that way. And as I was writing, that emotion, that feeling was back into me. So <clears throat> I think this is what they're saying. Time to relax, okay? And let joy and enthusiasm and happiness and inspiration be your guide. Don't be so focused on the end goal. Meh. It's all coming back to me now. Oh. <laughs> There's that tower. Wants to be here. Wants to be in your face, Pisces. So yeah, there's really no getting away from it this month. So I wouldn't even try. Okay. The Two of Cups coming out with it though, right after. It's just telling me that this tower... It's going to bring this. It's going to bring you back into balance. It's going to... There are such things as good towers. There are things as good towers. Okay? Clearing out the old helps bring in the new. It really does. When you keep banging your head on a wall and banging your head on a wall trying to make something happen and it's not happening, it's because something else needs to give. Okay? This might be just that. The Seven of Pentacles, the card of 2023. There's a lot of refocusing going on this year. I don't think it's a bad thing. The Nine of Pentacles. Hmm. Nice. And the Wheel of Fortune. See, this is what I mean with here. This is a good tower, okay? You have the Wheel of Fortune right underneath it. It's a good cycle. You know that the tower is a shock, and sometimes people say it's also like a windfall. Um, so I'm seeing it as a windfall. It's a fall that brings in a win. There you go. Okay? Let's play with those words. It's a fall that brings in the win. Very cute, uh, Spirit. Very cute. The Seven of Pentacles, the year of evaluation. What are you evaluating? What are you focusing on? The stuff that doesn't need to be there, or the stuff that is really cool that's supposed to be there. The Nine of Pentacles. 
Um, the Nine of Pentacles is the fruits of what the work that you've done, right? In this picture, she has all the awards. She is the star. All her hard work has paid off. And that is you. You are the star. All the hard work you're doing will pay off. It will bring in dividends for you, Pisces. It will make you um, good. That's the work. All of this, when you get, you start going, oh my God, that's too much. Seven of Wands, right? The Seven of Wands. You're thinking, oh God, I got to... I gotta do all of this like it, oh, it's never ending. I always have to persevere. I always have to meet up with these challenges. It's it's not for nothing. It is for something. It's building this new way of being. This seven of pentacles of of, of not just weeding out but but really feeding the right energy, right? But in order to do that, you got to get rid of the energies that aren't good. you got to be passionate about it, too. Knight of Swords. Yeah, the Knight of Swords, I'm not surprised to see in the same line as the Tower. Tower is usually a fast-moving, chaotic situation. So the Knight of Swords, may it, it may represent the fact that maybe it's time for you to concentrate on just, you know... Um, reigniting your passion and taking it easy and being inspired because once the wheel starts spinning here it's gonna go really quick things are gonna start going and moving and there, you won't have much of a choice then to go right yeah yeah so <clears throat> the ten of swords came out but so did the Fool, which is a great thing. Again, there's a diversity between the cards. They're kind of going, there's this, but there's that. There's that, but there's this, okay? There's these two very different energies showing up. And it's very chaotic. It's chaotic. This is the end. This is the end of something, right? The Ten of Swords, it's a stress, the swift end to a stressful situation. And the fool is the beginning of something. But it's it's something where you're putting both feet in. So it's absolutely got a lot of energy to it. It's boom, it's ending. Boom, it's beginning. You're really putting a lot of energy here. But you're no longer restricted. Like I said, it's it's those to get out of the depths the depths of restriction and passionately pursue what you want. Okay? Or I should say, pursue what you want with passion and inspiration. Be inspired. Be inspired to do. Don't worry so much about the end game. Let joy and happiness be your guide. Know that the stuff that happens is all there. This, this commotion is all there to bring you... Um, the coming together of stuff to create something new. The Wheel of Fortune. You know, Wheel of Fortune. The cycles and shift in a positive way. Hang on, because it's going to get fast. All of this is like motion, but it's it's in the, in the vein of happiness. Okay? Yes, you defend your stuff. Yes, certain things are going to come to an end. Yes, there's a lot of work here. This side's a lot of work. But come with the work comes in a lot of movement. And in that movement, a lot of fruits for your labor. So it's not all that... Hmm, what's the word here, Pisces, that I could use? It's not... As scary as I don't know for some of you it may feel like you go Oof, I don't know if I like this this is what I hear mm, I don't know if I like any of this what I'm saying is you might as well just hop on and do what you can and and go with the flow and and do what your soul is trying to tell you to do because when you um, try to resist stuff that's when things go sideways. 
Would you rather be in a raft going down some rapids with a paddle or without? See? With a paddle or with another person or with, you know, something to help guide you with a, with, um, what are those things in the back that guides the boat? You stand half a chance, right? You, you can, you can still guide where you're going, what you're doing. When you sit there hoping for the best, you still might end up with a bunch of rocks. Okay, so, <clears throat> this is what I'm saying. Yes, as you're going down some rapids, or some, yeah, some white water rafting or whatever, it's kind of hard because it's, it's got a very intense flow to it, right? Part of it is just, I don't know, hoping for the best, I guess. <laughs> but people who have the skills, who have the tools, which you do, which you have gotten, you're a rafting person. You have the paddles, you have the knowledge, you have the skills to get through the rough patches until you go on the other side and it's like smooth rafting, right? smooth flowing. And life's all about that, Pisces. Alright, so I think I have enough examples here. <laughs> Once again, enough examples. Um, time to nap is not literally time to nap. It's more time to figure out what you are passionate about and maybe take the right route. Okay, to be inspired, to be reignited, and don't worry so much about the end goal. That's the thing. Don't so much about the end goal because um, sometimes the end is just the end, right? If you have nothing to follow it up with. You'd much rather be planning the trip. That's all I keep getting. You'd much rather be planning this journey than just trying to sweep it under the carpet and, you know, not see what's there. When you do the work, you at least can gain the rewards that come with it. And there's a lot of rewards here. You have Nine of Pentacles, a Wheel of Fortune. You've got the Two of Cups. These are all beautiful cards to have in a reading. Passion, inspiration. So, just take a moment and figure it out, I guess. Have you been avoiding something? Have you been not looking at something? Is part of your energy going, oh, I'll look at it tomorrow. Don't look at it tomorrow. Do today. Get it over and done with today. Give yourself some goals. Set it. Get rid of the, the stuff that you don't want to do today. Maybe it'll make you get to the other side faster and you can really enjoy yourself, right? All right, Pisces. I'm sending you love, light, and blessings. I let you go with this. We're going to look at inspiration later on today. I hope I can see you then. Take care. Bye for now.